right, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to obtain your cozy sleeping bag and your student fodder to increase your leveling speed by up to 200% in Season of Discovery Phase 2. So this quest is a little bit different for Horde and Alliance. We're gonna start with the Alliance side. Step one for Alliance is you're gonna have to travel to Westfall and head to the Alexton Farmstead at around 3750 if you have coordinates where you're gonna find a wreckage of a cart. In the rubbles of this cart, you're going to find burned out remains. Click on these remains and accept the quest titled and the note you found. For step two, we're gonna need to head over to the Barrens. Once you arrive at the Barrens, follow the road south of Camp Tarajo, and at around 4674 coordinates, you will find a burnt tower. In the rubbles, you'll find burnt out remains yet again. Clicking them will allow you to turn in the quest you picked up in step one and accept a new quest titled Stepping Stones. Now these first two steps are the only part of this quest that differ for Horde and Alliance and really all it is is reverse. So if you are Horde, your step one is going to be to head to the Barrens, follow the road south of Camp Tarajo to around 4674 and you're gonna find that burnt out tower. In the rubble, you're gonna find burnt out remains and clicking them will give you the quest and the note you found. And then for step two for Horde, you're going to travel to Westfall, head to the Alexton Farmstead at around 3750, where you're going to find wreckage of a cart. And in that rubble, you're going to find burnt out remains as well, which will let you turn in the quest you picked up in step one and accept a new quest, Stepping Stones. So that was step one and two for Alliance and Horde. From here on out, the quest is identical no matter which faction you're on. So for step three, we're going to head to Stone Talon Mountains. Find a path northeast of Sunrock Retreat, around 50.9, 52.3 coordinates on your map. Follow that path until you come upon an abandoned camp at around 40, 52 in your coordinates. Click the pocket litter that lies on top of a box to complete the stepping stones quest that you picked up in step two and accept the next quest, scramble. Step four, we're gonna head straight north up the hill. From the edge, you'll be able to see an interactable object, a mound of dirt, around 39.6, 49.8 coordinates on your map. Jump over there and click the Mound of Dirt to complete Scramble. Accept the next quest, which is titled Wet Job. Step 5, we're going to need to head over to Loch Modan. You're going to need to find the Eagle figurine on the Loch Modan Dam at around 49.4, 12.9 coordinates. You will need to jump onto the carved heads facing the wetlands. Click the Eagle figurine to complete Wet Job and accept the next quest, Eagle's Fist. For step six, this is the last step. You're almost there, guys. You're going to head over to the Thoradin Wall on the border of the Arathi Highlands and Hillsbrad Foothills. Find the cart on the Hillsbrad side of the wall at 87.3, 49.6 coordinates and climb it to enter the Thoradin Wall. Going through the room on the wall, you'll find a messenger bag hanging outside to the right with a note. Click the bag to complete Eagle's Fist and accept the last quest. This must be the place. Under the bag is a hastily rolled up satchel. Click it and complete the last quest and receive your reward, the cozy sleeping bag. To use your new cozy sleeping bag, simply click the item in your inventory while you are outside. The sleeping bag itself will not be interactable. Instead, just walk on top of it. And as you stand still, you will fall asleep. If you move, you'll wake up. For each minute you spend sleeping, you gain 1% increased experience gained, up to a maximum of 3%. And don't forget to use your student fodders that you got throughout this questline. These will give you 20% rested experience every time you eat one, for a total of around 32 bars of rested experience. I do suggest saving these for levels 37 through 40, as it will make that experience a lot smoother because it tends to slow down around there. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you want to hang out with me live, I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash hammerdance. I'll drop a link to that in the description below this video. And if you want to join an awesome community discord full of like-minded people who all enjoy geeking out over Season of Discovery and Classic WoW in general, I'll drop a link to our discord in the description as well. We will welcome you with open arms. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. We'll see you all in the next one.